What's up everyone? Welcome to Target Focus Life. My name's Steve and today I have the Benelli 828U over under shotgun. So if you're looking for a detailed and in-depth review, you've come to the right place. Let's go. The 828U was Benelli's introduction to the over-under market. And if you look at this gun, you can tell it doesn't look like your traditional over-under, especially the receiver of this shotgun. Looks a little bit more like a semi-auto receiver, but obviously you got the two barrels. I'm excited to get my hands on this shotgun, do some shooting, put it to the test, give you my feedback so you can figure out if this is the next over-under shotgun for you. Now the intended use of this shotgun is upland and bird hunting. This is a field model, but Benelli has several other variations. We'll go over some of those a little bit later. MSRP of this shotgun is $27.99. So it has a nice little price tag for an over-under, but I was able to get this one from Reed's, of course, my favorite sporting good retailer for less than that. Now we're gonna jump in quickly to the specs of this shotgun. It is a 12 gauge, the one I have in my hands. They actually recently introduced early 2022 a 20 gauge version of the 828U. The one I have is a 28 inch barrel. Benelli also offers the 828U with either 26 or 30 inch barrel options. The weight of this shotgun is six pounds, 10 ounces. It feels very light in the hands. If you're gonna be walking all day, obviously a light gun is very nice. The only downside of light guns can be you swing too fast. They can also have a lot more felt recoil. So we're gonna put that to the test in just a little bit. The length of pull of this shotgun out of the box is 14 and three quarter inches, a little bit longer length of pull. The drop at comb is an inch and a half, and the drop at heel is two and an eighth. Giving the shotgun five eighths total drop along the comb. Now, one thing that's really cool about this shotgun is it does have a shim kit, so you can adjust drop and cast of your stock. Most traditional over-unders, that's not possible. If you want that stock fit to you better than it is out of the box, you gotta bring it to someone to custom work it to help create a stock that's gonna fit you, right? And that is some big money right there. So the versatility of being able to change a stock, that's a really cool thing. The A28U comes with five chokes, going from cylinder, improved cylinder mod, improved mod, and full. It runs the cryo choke system. I just have the factory chokes in there right now. The last thing I wanna look at with specs that you can't find online in their marketing materials or on their website is the trigger. I like just to pull the gun up. That felt really different. Of course, this has an auto safety, just to point that out. So every time I move the top lever to open it up, it goes back on safe. Then I gotta move it to fire. Really interesting trigger. It doesn't feel like a normal trigger. Feels a little spongy. I don't know if I like how it pulls right off the bat. Let's put a trigger gauge on there. Ooh, this trigger doesn't feel like your normal trigger. Four pounds, 6.4 ounces. Four pounds, 7.9 ounces. So again, very light trigger pull. Well, let's do it one more time. Four pounds, 6.3 ounces. Giving us an average of four pounds, 6.9 ounces. I'm very surprised by that. The trigger felt a lot different. Four pounds, 6.9 ounces. That's a nice light trigger. That's something I'd be pretty happy with as far as trigger weight for a field gun. So very cool. Let's jump into ergonomics. Looking at the ergonomics, I'm looking at the feel of the gun, the balance, the function, how the controls, everything operates, and just some of the features of the gun as well. So right off the bat, it feels very, very light in the hands. I mean, this is a gun that you could definitely carry around for quite a while. The grip here, it's a semi-pistol grip. It feels all right. Nothing I'm gonna brag about, but it, it feels good, sufficient. The forend, I like the way it feels. If you look at the texturing on this gun, if you look close, you'll notice it has the like scallop texturing. It almost looks like snake skin. It's pretty unique. I don't know if I love it or not personally, but it's different. I like a little bit different. Everything works really smooth on this gun. Of course, you got your top lever. As I mentioned, the auto safety, which I personally am not a big fan of, just, Sometimes in the field, it'll get you. This is one thing I always check on over-unders. A bird's getting up. Can I put it on fire as I'm mounting? I see that bird. Look at that, easy. This safety works really well. Of course, you have your barrel selector. Left side shoots bottom barrel first. Very easy and intuitive. Very clean looking receiver. Feels like a race car over-under to me. Really different than anything else out there. 
If you look at the top of this shotgun, you'll notice it has a carbon fiber rib on top, fiber optic on top. You know I'm not a huge fan, but at least this is a small fiber. It's not overly distracting. One thing I'm curious about is how well these carbon fiber ribs hold up. Like this one's already starting to get loose. It is removable, I believe. But yeah, I got some wiggle to this one already. And I've shot, I've hunted with this one just a few days. I've shot probably less than a case of shells through it, less than 250 rounds and that's already loose. Of course, it's bounced around the back of my truck for a while on a few different trips. That's a decent balance point, kind of midway between your two hands for the most part. If you look at the back end of the stock, it has the Comfort Tech cheek pad. It's got the progressive, what do they call it? Progressive Comfort recoil system. I'm really looking forward to putting that to the test because anytime you're shooting a lighter over under, recoil can really be a consideration. Speaking of recoil, why don't we test that out now? We're gonna look at recoil and reliability. Of course, when it comes to the reliability, that's gonna be a tough thing for me to really tell out here today. The question is gonna be, do the ejectors work basically? Does it eject the shells, which you would highly expect it to? But this is where you come in, the viewers. If you have an 828U, I would love to get your feedback. If you've used and abused your gun, what have you seen? Has it worked flawlessly? Have you had issues? Leave it down in the comments, because when you all share, we all get to learn more, we get to be better. Let's look at some recoil here. It's got a little bit of a wallop, I will say that. But the ejectors work really nice on this gun. This is different with the ejectors on this shotgun than a lot because it's not integrated with anything on the receiver. The ejectors are fully into the barrel and I don't exactly know how they operate, to be honest with you. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick two shots here. I'm getting a lot of muzzle jump on this shotgun. I'm taking it a bit to the face. So let's try two more. Pull. That bird dove on me. Do you see that? The recoil pad is nice. The Comfort Tech is nice, but I'm taking a lot of recoil into my face. Maybe with a slight change in drop or cast, it would help a little bit, but yeah, I'm not real impressed with that. So when it comes to recoil, I've definitely shot 12 gauges that have less recoil. Granted, some of them are a little heavier. That makes a tremendous difference. So sometimes there's this trade-off. There's this balance, right, between a light gun and a light shooting gun. You wanna carry it all day in the field, you're maybe only gonna shoot 15 rounds, sure. You can handle the recoil of this. I'm only shooting target loads. These are ounce and eighth target loads and I'm feeling the recoil pretty good in my face. Looking at the different options of the A28U, they have 11 different options. They have these looking receivers, but some of them are engraved. They have nickel plated receivers that are engraved that look really sweet. They have 26, 28 and 30 inch barrel options. They have a performance shop option. They have a 828U Sport made specifically for clay shooters. They have compact options for smaller shooters. And as I mentioned earlier, they recently announced early 2022, the 20 gauge version of this. As far as build quality of this shotgun, I think everything comes together really nice. Benelli did a great job putting this gun together. I think it's a very attractive gun. But as far as longevity of the gun, Benelli claims that their hinges will last a lifetime, where a lot of other guns you might get 25,000 rounds before your hinges start to wear out and you have to have them replaced or get a whole new receiver. I'd like to hear from y'all whether you've had to ever replace hinges on an over-under shotgun. About how many rounds did it take? Let's hear your feedback. They claim these will last a lifetime because this gun on the inside is quite different. In fact, let's go ahead and break it down right now. The button is up front, just took a little pressure. The forend pops off, barrel off. If you look at the barrel here, you see the ejectors with the springs. Look inside this receiver here. That is completely different than most over-unders. So this is supposed to take a lot of the pressure, a lot of the beating from your shot versus into the back of the receiver. So Benelli claims that this is gonna help their gun have a longer lifespan than most over-unders. I don't have 25,000 rounds through this gun, so I can't tell you. That's why I always love to hear your feedback. If you ever own a gun that I'm shooting, making a review on. Go ahead, chime in the comments, tell us what your experience has been. This gun's back together, hot to trot. I think we need to do some speed shooting. This is where it all comes together, folks. This is where I figure out, is this a gun I really, really like, or not so much, or somewhere in between, of course. Love to also hear your thoughts on the 828U. We're going on the clock, two clays, as fast as I can. 
I'm gonna be looking at trigger pull, recoil, operation of the gun, pointability, all those different things. So here we go. Let's see what this 828U can do for me and for you. Chip that top one. A little muzzle jump I'm noticing. 129, it's an all right first score, 129. But I didn't smoke that second one. That kind of drives me crazy. There we go. The 118, that was quite a bit faster. I've shot over the top of that second clay a whole bunch trying to recover from this recoil. Let's try to beat a 118. There we go. It's a one, one, one. So after taking a little bit closer look at this shotgun today, after hunting with it, shooting it at a few different occasions, I really want to love this gun. I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels in my hands. So many neat things. And if what Benelli says is true about the hinges lasting a lifetime and just the durability of this gun, definitely a fun gun to have in the field but definitely a gun that kicked me in the face quite a bit. I took a lot more recoil than I thought, but again, that's part of the trade-off. Are you gonna do more walking or more shooting? Do you want a lighter gun or a lighter recoiling gun? Those are the options that you need to consider before you purchase a gun, and how big of a difference it makes is really your personal opinion, right? Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, whether you're on the field or in life, you're only gonna hit those shots that you're laser focused on. So live, target focus. See ya.